Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here and I'm back with another tech video. Uh, in this video I'll be taking a quick look at a ROM that I recently found looking around on uh, on Google and XDA forums um, for the Nexus S. It's a uh, Raspbian Jelly ROM. The build date uh, right there as you can see Thursday, October 18th. Um, so uh, the kernel version is also is also uh, changed. This is based on CM10 which is based on Android 4.1.2 at the moment. So everything here is up to date with um, you know, stock Android as well as CM10. Um, there are some similarities between this and CM10, but we'll just go ahead and stick with the Raspberry Jelly. Um, now, first and foremost, I do have a custom kernel. This is not the kernel that Raspberry Jelly does uh, come with. It does come with a, its own kernel, but I decided to flash a different kernel just to see if it would be any different. And in my opinion, there is not really any difference that I was able to to notice. So if we go ahead and take a look at developer options, by default when you first install Raspbian Jelly, all of the window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale, these are all turned off. Um, so if you can see, um, when you open something, you no longer get a nice little animation, and it also does move real fast. So uh, I decided to put everything at 0.5, but you can go ahead and change that just as a precautionary if you uh, like your animations you need to go back in and change these under developer options if you decide to flash this ROM which I will have a link to in the description as well as <clears throat> as well as the kernel version or the kernel that I'm running um, one thing that I do like to mention though is uh, performance wise it does seem a lot faster than uh, CM10 uh, whether it would uh, whether I had all the settings checked to 0.5 or not, uh, if I had them regular at, at one, it does seem a lot faster and snappier. I noticed right when I uh, boot it up, uh, everything is just real snappy, and I really appreciate it. As well as battery life, battery life has been real great for me. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty light to moderate user. I don't use it very much, um, but uh, as you can see here, I got five hours, 23 minutes, and it's uh, still at 65%. So I know that if I was on uh, CM10, whether it was maybe uh, an error that I had or too much syncing or something going on in the background or not, I still wouldn't, I would be uh, nowhere near 65% at five hours of usage. Um, so, as you can see, here's my screen on and awakes just for your references. Um, but if we go and take a look at the screen, I only have 49 minutes of usage, um, which I know isn't a lot, um, but it's still serving me pretty well and I'm going through normal usage. Uh, w another thing I'd like to note is I have turned off Google Now and uh, that has also saved me a lot of battery life I noticed so if battery life is a thing that you're really concerned with and you do have Google Google Now enabled and you you kind of you realize you don't need it all that much like I did um, you'll be you'll be really good with battery um, as I am now uh, so there's not a lot to talk about since this ROM doesn't come with too much stuff uh, in the settings though you can go ahead and take a look at build tweaks that <coughs> excuse me that uh, CM10 comes with as well such as lock screen shortcuts nothing new if you're running CM10 go ahead and pick a shortcut to add to uh, to the lock screen um, as well as status bar change the AM PM style next to the clock um, battery status style let um, me go ahead and see these you got icon percentage circle circle with percentage or just hide it all together and then you can choose the um, brightness from the status bar um, but I have it set to auto so that's why it's not letting me check that uh, widget buttons you can go ahead and check uh, any of these widget buttons and like I said if you're running CM10 this is uh, this should be exactly the same you have all these toggles you can you can enable uh, for the notification tray just like that and then you have uh, certain settings for certain uh, you have settings for certain um, um, you have settings for certain buttons that you can uh, enable. Sorry, um, you can choose to close the drawer on change. Uh, so, for example, if I wanted to go ahead and change uh, portrait to landscape orientation on or off, it would go ahead and close this. You can check that. You can hide the scroll bar if you got a lot of these guys up here. You got to scroll back and forth. It, I get, I'm guessing it's going to present a little bar underneath, and you can choose to hide that or show it. And uh, haptic feedback. Um, you just got some quick options there. So, like I said uh, earlier, there's not a lot to go over, but I just had to go ahead and share this with you guys. Um, uh, you do also have a um, nice subtle blue on the settings, all throughout the uh, settings, as well as in some like menus and things like that. Let's see if we can, if I can get this activated. There we go. Sorry, uh, my button's a little, little broken. 
Um, you see you get little blue around the around the black box. It looks really nice in my opinion. I like it a lot better than signage mod. Um, now I know that there were color settings that signage mod came with. This doesn't come with any color settings. Um, but the raw the kernel that I'm running, it does change the colors. I don't know. I know it might be kind of hard to see, but it changes the colors uh, of the um, uh, the saturation and things like that. It, ch color it changes those colors for the whole. It's all um, operating system wide. I didn't really like it at first, um, but I got used to it, and it looks really nice in my opinion now. Um, as well as uh, when you press the menu button, you can't repurpose these buttons as well as I was. Uh, as far as I'm able to see, like you can in CM10, uh, I had this one for multitasking and uh, etc. But you can't ch you can't reconfigure these. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, with NS Tools, an app available from the Play Store, you can go ahead and uh, tweak some of those some of these buttons. What they do, you can enable fast charge, backlight dimmer. Um, how uh, how quickly these will dim if they do at all and you can also choose to use them as a uh, as an LED um, notification light um, as well as change the battery life extender and uh, other things like that the voltage you can change voltage certain settings you can save your settings um, and then this ROM also does come with the ability to overclock which Raspbian Jelly does not um, I believe uh, you can overclock to 1096 megahertz or 1.2 gigahertz I noticed that when I overclocked to 1096 megahertz, which is not very much higher than 1000 uh, megahertz, I did get one random reboot, so I kind of just decided not to do that since the ROM is fast enough anyway. Um, this kernel also does, uh, I believe, come with uh, more RAM. It clears out some memory. Um, I remember seeing on the on their forum that that it clears out memory for more uh, for more RAM. So if you can see here, I have 217 megabytes free and 191 megabytes used. Um, that is a lot more than what I usually have. I usually have between, between 120 or so and 150. So yeah, uh, that's really good for me. Um, so yeah, like I said, battery life is great. Performance is great. Um, overall, it's not as heavy of a ROM as uh, as Cyanogen and Mod, in my opinion. It, it feels real light. Um, the kernel just works. Um, the stock kernel that Raspberry Jelly work, uh, comes with also works. But uh, yeah, so just go ahead and check out this ROM if you're into uh, flashing different ROMs and things like that. Go ahead and try it out. Just be sure to make a backup and um, uh, of your whatever ROM you're running before this. And like I said before, if you need, if you want to grab a hold of this ROM, I will have it in the description, uh, download link in the description, as well as the uh, kernel, as well as the kernel. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe up there, and just stay tuned for more uh, for more ROM reviews and uh, overviews and things like that. Thanks for watching.